Hi there everybody, welcome to Andrew's Beer Review, it's time for another review. This is what we're looking at today, this is from Buxton Brewery, it's the Single Barrel Rain Shadow, it's uh, Imperial IPA. Um, this is the, they have an annual barrel aged um, offering. Uh, this year, 2020 when they barreled it, they did three versions, they did a whiskey barrel aged one, bourbon barrel aged one and this one which is a rye whiskey barrel aged one. Comes in at 12% um, ABV. Um, now price, I paid £12 for this from Doncaster Brewery, it's a 330ml can. Um, I probably could have got it cheaper, if I looked at the websites I could have got it cheaper, but with postage and packaging it would have, it would have taken it over £12 anyway. If I'd have found it in my local uh, bottle shop, I probably could have paid about 10 tenner for it, I would reckon. Um, but £12 from Donny Brewery, and if I'm being perfectly honest, I really don't mind. Um, when I found it, fancied it, bought it because I want it. Um, and secondly, you know, it's a it's a local brewery, and what I'm trying to do this year is try and support local breweries and local retailers as much as I can. So you know, a little extra profit for those guys is absolutely fine by me. Don't care two hoots. There, got that out of the way. Right, let's get it poured out. Let's see what we've got. So I'm really into my um, strong. Um, dark beers at the moment. I'll probably turn away from them. I get to, I go through these phases where I really fancy a good strong porter or a good strong stout and then I'll do a lot of that and then I'll end up fancying a nice juicy IPA and then going back to that then fancying something light and simple and going to a blonde or a golden a gold nail or something but uh, yeah never mind at the moment strong ones it is and uh, I tell you what on the pour this is giving off one cracking aroma that has poured jet black, absolutely nothing going through that, no light whatsoever. It's got a nice, um, I'd call that a little mocha head, which is looks really thick and wonderful and is clinging to that beer for absolute dear life. So that's looking good. Let's see what's like in Rome, shall we? Oh, tell you what, that, that rye whiskey is coming through massive amounts. But it's left to mature in the barrels for a year, so it's going to take some, some of that flavour out of that, out of that wood. Talking of wood, it has got some woody notes. Getting a little bit of sweet caramel. A little coffee note at the back end. Very decent. Smells great. Looks great. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Second sweet. That's really nice. Um, it's really nice. There's a nice earthy bitterness in there, but that earthy bitterness lays between, um, on one side, roasted malt um, flavours. So I'm getting some coffee and some dark chocolate in that, and some nice um, bitter hops on the other side. some smokiness coming through on this one as well and some lovely flavours from that rye whiskey I have to say some excellent flavours coming through on that rye, rye whiskey that's really nice on a cold night like tonight it may be why at the moment I've turned into these uh, dark beers because on a cold like night like it is today in the alehouse, that's warming. Feeling the warmth from that alcohol, it does taste boozy. But it is 12% ABV. But it 
it's not too boozy. Getting right, really nice coffee bitterness starting to form. It is really nice. When I first started on this journey a little over 12 months ago now, I was quite worried about barrel aged beers. I'm not a whiskey fan. Um, bad experience with whiskey many years ago, many decades ago. And I've never touched a drop of whiskey since. But, I don't know, it takes on a completely different characteristic inside beers inside Imperial Stouts like this. The whiskey flavour's there. But this is nice. I don't know if it's because it's the, the rye whiskey, which I've never drunk a rye whiskey in my life. It hasn't got that peachiness with it. Whiskey tends to have that, um, or the whiskeys I've drunk anyway, um, tends to have a little ripe peaty flavour to it, which isn't um, isn't up my street style. It's, it's not a flavour I particularly like. And I don't know if barrel aging uh, beers, I don't know if it takes it out of it, or I don't know if this is because this is a, a rye whiskey. Although to be fair, I've had um, the Wishbone Brewery, their Imperial Stout. That was, uh, I think that was your whiskey barrels for this year. Couldn't taste any peatness out of that as well. So, so maybe it disappears in, in the beers. This is lovely and smooth, I have to say. And my mouth is now full of whiskey flavour. And my mouth is also full of bitter, bit of coffee, maybe a little bit, a bit, a bit of dark chocolate as well. But barrel aging brings a real complexity to it. What would be a normal imperial stout um, brings a nice complexity to it. If, if I'm being honest, and just a wonderful depth. The flavour which you don't get with a normal imperial style. It's creamy, it's soft, it's smooth, it feels really thick in the mouth. A very, very, very decent imperial style. But I know for a lot of um, drinkers at the moment, books and cat do much wrong. I have got somewhere. Uh, somewhere, and I can't see it right now. Uh, I've got a couple more books to try somewhere. I can't remember what I've got. So looking forward to trying them. Check on that left a little bit in there. No, crying shame. Right. Wow, um, really nice. So the aroma of those whiskey notes really came through, really nice. A little sweetness as well, a little sweet caramel, a little bit of, of coffee come through on that aroma. On the flavour, that rye whiskey is really up front, but not in a bad way. Like I say, I don't like whiskey, can't stand whiskey, but in there it tastes really nice. Nice earthy bitterness, nice earthy coffee bitterness. But on one side of that, pardon me, excuse me. Like I say, you've got the malt flavours in there as well. So you've got the coffee, the dark chocolate coming through. You've also got a lovely little bitterness on the hop side as well. So it's really nice from that perspective. It's smooth. It is. It is quite sweet. Um, it's smooth. It's velvety. Lovely thick mouthfeel. I'm going to score that. I'm going to score that a nine out of ten. That's a nine out of ten from Andy's beer reviews for this um, single barrel rain shadow imperial stout. Um, um, that's been barrel aged in wine whiskey barrels. Beautiful. Cheers, everybody.